I mean, the, the use has been, I think it has blossomed. I mean, you've, you've been doing this for decades. Uh, what do you see in the changes of how much ozone has been accepted? Uh, it's, it's really remarkable. Um, when I, when we first, actually, I started teaching this. Yeah, I learned, like I said, I learned about it in the 80s. And then towards the end of the 80s, I, you know, I thought, you know, people need to know about this. There's too darn many people suffering from conditions that I can clear up in a heartbeat with ozone. Hmm. And, and people need to know about this. I'm not, I'm not going to be the only guy that knows about this. Hmm. So, so starting in the early 90s, I started teaching doctors. Uh, the first class I had, we had a total of six doctors there. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that went too big, but you know, mm -hmm. nowadays uh, we do three classes a year. We limit it to 80 doctors in each class. Uh, it gets sold out typically within two to three days and people call up and they're all upset. And I say, you got to wait till the next class, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but, but we now have thousands and thousands of doctors all over the U S and in fact, we get doctors from all, all the rest of the world that mm -hmm. have uh, come in and learned all this kind of stuff. Yeah. And, um, and yeah, so now there's just like lots of doctors in. And Joy, one of the things that was so interesting to me is that, um, you know, a, as a, a physician, you know, the listeners should know that we, uh, us doctors, we need to uh, do continuing education units uh, every year or two in order to maintain our licensure. And uh, so so about two years ago, I'm, I'm doing that. And I, mm -hmm. I went to a, an orthopedic seminar just to hear what, you know, they were going to teach there. And darn if one of the lectures wasn't about using ozone on knees mm. and in surgery. And so, yeah, so even two years ago, it was it's starting to get mainstreamed. The only thing that's holding it back, literally, is the fact that the system is so heavily invested in surgery and and it would get rid of 80, 90 percent of surgeries. You know, oh, all these surgeries yeah. that are done on knees and shoulders and necks and backs, gone. Most of them are gone with, with uh, and that's been published, by the way. Most of them are gone with, uh, with ozone therapy. And uh, so that's one of the things that holds it back. And, of course, the other one is that uh, while the insurance company will pay for a $50,000 knee replacement, they won't pay for a, like a $2,000 ozone treatment that fixes the knee in the same way. 